How is sintering used in ceramics? Have you ever wondered how a simple powder can transform into a strong ceramic object? The answer lies in a fascinating process called sintering. This technique is essential in the world of ceramics and materials science. Let's break it down step by step. Sintering starts with ceramic powders, which are tiny particles that need to be compacted and formed into a solid mass. The process involves heating these powders to a high temperature, but not quite to their melting point. This heating reduces the surface energy of the particles, allowing them to bond together. As a result, the material becomes denser and stronger, with fewer pores that could weaken it. The first stage of sintering is preparing the powder composition. Ceramic powders are often mixed with additives like water and binders to create a slurry. This slurry is then spray dried to produce a fine powder that can be easily compacted. Next, the powder is pressed into a mold to create what is known as a green body. This is the uncentered form of the ceramic item. The compaction can be done using mechanical methods such as cold or hot pressing. After forming the green body, the next step is to remove the binder and any organic additives by heating it at a lower temperature. This prepares the body for the final sintering stage. Now, let's talk about the actual sintering process. The green body is heated at a high temperature to fuse the ceramic particles together. There are different types of sintering, including solid state sintering and liquid phase sintering. Solid state sintering involves the diffusion of particles in their solid from and is common in pure oxide ceramics. It usually requires higher temperatures and longer times due to the slow diffusion. On the other hand, liquid phase sintering is used for materials that are challenging to sinter. In this method, an additive is introduced that melts before the main ceramic material. This helps in densifying the material through several stages including rearrangement and final densification. Sintering is widely used in creating various ceramic products, from pottery to advanced ceramics like zirconia and alumina. It also plays a role in manufacturing components for electronic devices. The process allows for the production of materials with specific properties, such as high strength and resistance to thermal shock. These qualities make ceramics suitable for industries like aerospace, automotive, and medical devices. In the context of chemistry education, sintering illustrates how thermal energy can facilitate both chemical and physical changes in materials. It shows how controlled processes can lead to desired properties in ceramics, making it a key topic in materials science. So, the next time you see a ceramic item, remember the fascinating journey it took from powder to a durable object through the sintering process.